the worst cheaters ever. Then just hold your phone and let me see what you wrote. I What's going on guys? Shot Clips here once again. I'm sure some small clips of the worst cheaters I can find. The my favorite clip will be at the end guys, so make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But in this first one, it is definitely not good either. Basically, we have this guy over here, he's actually married and working at Popeye's drive through until he ended up getting confronted by a woman who was, I guess, flirting with him. This guy's an absolute loser. It's not like working at Popeye's drive through wasn't horrible enough. You gotta cheat on your wife now too. Doing. Doing good. How about yourself? All right, I heard it's big man season. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> you married? Yeah. You cheat? No. Yeah. That secret you never told your ex. That I'm a big flirt and I flirt with mother everybody and his friends included. She belongs to the streets. His friends? Yep, I'm a big flirt. In this next one, I do not blame this man at all for calling off the marriage and the wedding. Basically, he heard rumors that his wife would cheat on him for a million dollars. Maybe it was a kind of would you rather question. It wasn't supposed to be taken that seriously. But this guy definitely did. And to be honest, I don't blame him. W for him. The Nigerian man has canceled his wedding after he saw his soon-to-be wife comment under a Facebook post saying that she would cheat on him for a million dollars. Yo, don't, don't think we could have split this money. This girl got a big booty. <laughs> and this next one, I feel so bad for this guy. And everybody around the table knows this guy is just an absolute simp who got taken advantage of. Who's just kind of spilling and exposing himself. Basically, I guess his wife left him when he had four kids already. Because she needed to go find her way with God. So she ended up leaving him completely for a moment of time. And I'm like, do you really think she only wanted to find God? She didn't find another guy at all? Find his replacement? Or just trying to do her own thing on the side? And he's trying to make it seem like she did the right thing for herself. And she kind of needed it. But everybody knows at that table, we all know what she was doing. If you would have told me I, I would be married and my wife would leave me, I would have never believed you. <laughs> that and I, right? There was no limit. Like it just became, I will and dot, dot, dot. My wife, amazing, right? I didn't know she was going through what she was going through, right? But she said, I'm not doing well. And she said, um, I have to leave. What? And I, if you would have told me I, I would be married and my wife would leave me, I would have never believed you, right? Um, but she had to leave and go away for like a solitude, like a silent retreat mm -hmm. and experience God in a way that she was not experiencing. What? It left me with four kids and a business and the fresh death of my sister and the death of my cousin right during the midst of that. Um, and a part of me that felt abandoned um, and was like angry because I was like, why am I feeling all of this? All and this sex was just absolutely so sad. Maybe this is why a lot of women in the work field always get divorced because they always just find either someone at work, like the boss or just a coworker that they find more better than the actual husband. This woman is 100% cheating in my opinion, just because you didn't do anything physical doesn't mean you're not cheating. And it just absolutely sucks to see. My husband and I have been married for five years and we have three children together. The last three years have been a nightmare. We argue all the time. We're not affectionate. As a result, I found myself getting closer to a co-worker. Mm -mm, <laughs> a co-worker. It wasn't on purpose. He fills a void that I have in my marriage. We haven't been physical, but the emotional connection is so strong. I'm on the verge of leaving my marriage so I can start over with my co-worker. What should I do? Oh, Lord. Mm. And this sexless woman ends up saying she needs a really high valid man like Elon Musk to pay her bills. Then you think the conversation couldn't get worse after that. But then she starts explaining herself and about herself. And I'm like, yo, she actually just might be a street worker at this point. Who casually says things like this about themselves and expects this kind of man? You're not traditional in any way. So why do you deserve this kind of guy? How much does a man have to make to date you? How much does he have to what? Make to date you. How much does he have to make? I mean, first of all, he got to be rich as like Elon Musk, like... Like how much? Like Elon Musk. You think a guy who's rich like Elon Musk is going for you though? Elon Musk would eat this You know, 80 years old or 8 years old, he want to eat this What makes you think he'd be interested in you? What makes you think he'd be interested in me? I mean, first of all, I'm so sexy, you know, like I'm very natural. Like I ain't no like, you know, hood bush, ain't no street bush, ain't no uh, airplane bush, ain't no one of kind bush, you know what I mean? Like I ain't like that. So what kind of what kind of girl are you then? What kind of girl am I? Like yeah. I'm super fun, you know what I mean? Like I'm 
so adventurous. I'm just kidding. I'm really just a bad body. Okay. I don't give a fuck. How tall are you? I'm 5'5", five five, but I can be taller, you know, if I stretch this pussy up. You know what I mean? How tall you want you meant to be? I want to be like 5'7", so I can like be kind of tall in heels, you know what I mean? In this next one, this is absolutely insane. Basically, this woman ended up saying that her body count was 22. However, when she shows the list on her phone, you guys can count it. I counted like 55 or 54. Let me know what you guys counted. This is insane. How many people have you slept with? I don't know. I have to check my list. Can hell, you got a list? Who doesn't? Who does that? All right. I think it's like 22 or something. I oh, shit. Oh, shit. Show the camera. Show the camera. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. In this next one, once again, this guy is getting absolutely embarrassed and exposed by his wife. Apparently, she was in Vegas having fun living her single life, as she said. She said she really enjoyed being single. Then this guy ends up texting her that he was at church while she was at Vegas. And I guess it was like a wake-up call for her to get her life together and that this is a man she's going to fall in love with. And in my head, I'm like, this guy was pretty much just a simp who stuck around with her. Because I guess she was done sleeping around with a bunch of other guys. She ended up settling down with him. And it sounds like he's getting played, I'm not going to lie. Like, I have spent legit all day with this dude. Like, you know, we had we would go to lunch or we would go to dinner, but we had spent all day together. We were in his car and we had at that point never kissed. We had never hugged intimately. And I he cared for me. And at that point, I cared for him. You a sweet nigga. You a sweet nigga. Who told you, your mama? You a ladies man. <laughs> what? Man, I'm a real P around here, bro. Ain't nothing sweet. These girls play you, boy. They play you like a video. And he was just like, look, I know where you're at. Because I was young. I was single. I was making money. I was on my first major TV show. The show was just about to premiere. I was, like, kicking it. And I wasn't dating anybody else, though. It wasn't like I was dating a bunch of people. I was just happily single, raising Kennedy, just doing my thing. And I went to Vegas. <laughs> and i got a text message uh, i could cry thinking about this because it's like the little things in life that make you wake up and i got a text message from my god sister and it was dule kennedy and her at church and i thought i'm in vegas and this man is at church with kennedy and i was like oh this is it it's a wrap. And this next one, I can't believe this conversation ended up continuing in this way. I guess this girl had a huge crush on this man who was married, by the way. But surprisingly, he stayed low throughout the entire conversation and literally told her multiple times he's married and it ended up going like this. Hi, is this Daniel? Yes, it is. Who is this? This might be really weird, but my name is Ashley and you don't know me. I went to the same high school as you, but I was a grade below you and I only really saw you in the halls and knew people in common. And well, I had a huge crush on you. I was talking about you with some friends and one of them, not going to say their name out of respect, had your ig and well I thought it was worth a shot to text you since it has been a while since high school. Well, I am married so that might put a damper on your crush. Oh, man, I hadn't heard anything about you being married. Yep, towards the end of 2022. This may be a bit forward but if you don't mind I would love to get to know you more. I know you told me you're married but talking can be harmless. Oh Nua, I'm married. We don't have to be in a relationship I would just love to talk with you and if that leads to something else, well I wouldn't mind. I'm married. Marriage doesn't last forever nowadays. I usually am not this bold but I want to at least take my shot. I'm married. Stop repeating that. Listen, I love my wife very much and I've known her for close to a decade. I won't be leaving her. I don't mind talking with anyone but I won't do anything that jeopardizes my marriage. I guess it's not worth it then. You have yourself a nice married life. What a shame. You missed out. Bug time. Big time. Bug time. And this next one, I don't find this clip funny at all. Even though this man is laughing, I really do feel bad for this woman. She ended up getting involved with the wrong guy. He ended up putting her in a really bad position where she ends up now crippled the rest of her life neck down. That absolutely sucks. Take care of yourselves, guys. Do not mess with the wrong people, especially gang members or drug dealers. I don't care how much attractive you find them. This is disgusting, especially gang members and drug dealers. Ah, uh, nah, nah, this is what y'all wanted. Y'all wanted them hood dudes, them scammers, them drug dealers. This is what you wanted, niggas that's applying pressure on the street. How that neck feel? And this next one, I guess all these women are pretty much exposed that they're not true feminists and they don't want true equality because they still want men dying in wars for them. And if they ever had a chance to be drafted, clearly they would not be in the situation. And if they ever had a chance to be drafted, clearly they were not for it. Should women be drafted for war? 
That's too tough for me to answer. Get it, get it. No. <laughs> I mean, do I want to be drafted? No. Drafted no. Not for the last me. one. Not for me, no. No for you. <laughs> Country. Yeah, I, I think so. I think it might put a stop to it, maybe. In this next one, I'm not sure why this guy did this. He ended up renting out an entire Lambo to impress a girl because she ended up just setting him up in the Bronx because this ended up happening. Here's why you do not go to the Bronx in a Lamborghini ears. Customer came from Miami, came to visit a New York girl, had his jewelry on, had a nice watch on, good chain on, decided to rent this beautiful Urus from us. If you're in New York and you meet a girl from the Bronx, that's a red flag itself. This gentleman didn't know that. Goes to the Bronx, parks in a building, three gentlemen who were trying to rob him ended up breaking into his car, taking all his stuff out. So this main window right here is about a thousand bucks. Secondary window is slightly cracked. It's about another $900. The door has scratches all over it that you can actually feel. And then the mechanism itself is a little bit bent. Altogether, damage would probably cost right around three to four thousand dollars to fix everything. So if you're not from the Bronx, stay away from the Bronx. It's the Wild Wild West there. And unless you got respect over there, they're probably gonna try to rob you. Till next time, stay tuned for more blue Disaster. And this next one, I do not agree with what this woman is saying at all. Basically, she is saying to women, if your man doesn't give you time, he doesn't call, he doesn't text you, he's not into you at all. Have you never talked to a busy man before, like a businessman or a guy who's working often, trying to get his life together? Do you think we just have time for you 24-7? I, I don't agree with this woman at all. What are some signs that you and a person aren't meant to be? Ooh, don't Ooh. trip. We got you. Some signs that you're not meant to be. This one's gonna hurt a lot of y'all feelings. Yeah. It might. If he's not texting you all the time, Ooh. if he's not calling you all the time, or if he can't call you, or if he's busy, she's not lying. What? And this next one, this is one of the most pathetic dates I have ever seen. But then again, I guess this guy wants what he paid for. It. Hey, bro, she ordered an eight ounce, right? I put it on the scale. Only came up with six ounces. Got gotcha, you, buddy. Uh And this next one, this just has to be complete sarcasm and just, you know, trolling. This guy is saying that from OnlyFans, that guy lost his face. I'm not even sure what that even means. But this girl's trying to act remorseful and everybody's attacking her. Maybe this is like a joke. I don't get it. Feel the way you do. Because I honestly, OF? like, yeah. My buddy, John Gacy, used to be a really good guy. He was going to Harvard. Honestly, he was put at the top of his class. Uh -huh. He ended up uh, falling into OF. He ended up getting, you know, a subscription to that. And, you know, he's no longer with us. They took his face. Okay. What? So, so obviously, oh my, God, I'm sorry my buddy John that. Gacy is gone now. It's triggering. But you even you were laughing at John. I Maybe. wasn't. I wasn't. Okay, I was trying to understand you. Put the camera on her, and if she's being honest, then say rest in peace. I said I'm sorry for your loss. No, rest in peace to who? You're not being sincere about this. No, mm -mm. your friend. You weren't even listening. I was listening. What's his name? John Gacy. I'm sorry <laughs> for his loss. Like, I'm trying to. Okay, thank you. And this next one, I guess this woman's saying there's a new study saying that there's not enough women getting married due to the fact that there aren't enough successful men, I guess, economically wise. Pretty much, they just want men who are just completely rich and make over 100K, but we kind of knew the statistic was going to be true. Shocking new claim about the falling marriage rate is raising a lot of questions right now. A new study says the reason fewer people are getting married is because there's a shortage of, quote, economically attractive men. Dead ass look at my boyfriend sometimes. We like, oh my God, I have the biggest crush on this boy and then remember that we're dating and i'm like oh, nice. and this next one is absolutely correct this is what i really do think why men don't want to get married anymore successful men that are doing something with their life do not want disagreeable women in their life they don't want to fight and argue over well this weekend we're going to go shopping for curtains and they have to look like this after i've just been busy all day doing all this shit putting out fires you're going to yell at me about curtains now oh that's, yeah i mean that's a um, shitty challenge that's, that's a shitty challenge that's what a lot of guys are dealing with are starting to value peace over if this woman is not bringing you peace, send her back to the streets. And this is actually, I don't recommend anybody doing this. So if you are a woman watching, don't listen to this woman. It's so stupid. You're going to piss off the guy. And all you're going to see is him leaving because he actually has respect for himself. I'm not even saying this to be funny, but you should be pissing off a man as soon as possible. You will see their true colors very, very quickly. They'll say something. They'll do something and you will know if that's a man that you should be dealing with. This is better be a joke because if it's not, this is 100% illegal and I feel bad for that girlfriend. My girlfriend has an OnlyFans account and it's doing really well. I just have to figure out how to tell her about it.
Can you buy me a drink? Someone stole my wallet. Okay. And this next one, this girl's an absolute queen. A lot of people actually stumble with the question, what do you bring to the table? But this girl answered it perfectly. She didn't answer the question like a man, like, oh, I bring money to the table. I work a good job. And I thought her response was perfect. You're in a relationship. Okay. What do you bring to the table? Everything. I bring the whole table. What's on the table? Uh, I mean, there's loyalty, there's emotional stability, there's financial stability. You would like to contribute financially as well? Yeah, of course. I don't think a, a man or a woman necessarily, like, there's no breadwinner. You know, I can be the breadwinner as a woman, you can be the breadwinner, you know? If everybody makes bread, there's more bread on the table. Right, exactly. Power couple vibe. And this next one, this clip is absolutely amazing. Once again, I'm not sure how some women are able to do this. I guess they do really work good jobs. People in the comments were saying, oh, she used her husband's money anyway, so it's not that big of a surprise. But regardless, I feel like he was still super happy with the outcome. Dal in a car. He has no clue, and we're flying home tomorrow, and this bad boy is going to be sitting at the airport waiting for him. Farm of the World Scoop on this guys, we have this man over here. He ends up confronting his wife with her text messages. He wanted to see it, and now she is saying, hey, you're making me super uncomfortable, completely gaslighting this guy. Not only that, she ends up saying she wants to go for a walk. We all know it's going to go on throughout that walk. She's going to delete all the messages, making sure he's not going to be able to see anything. I would just made a quick deal with her saying, the moment you step out this door and don't show me what's on your phone, we're getting a divorce immediately. Whatever this male friend she has is definitely doing something with her, and he, she doesn't want to tell the husband. You need a cigarette because you're like, you need a cigarette. You can call your sister. I'm not gonna harm you. I'm not gonna hurt. I'm not gonna put my hands on you. I don't feel comfortable. I'm not gonna put my hands on you. I, you can call your sister. I tell you, I'm, I don't feel comfortable. I need to go. You can stay. You want, I thought you want to walk the dogs together. You can record whatever it is that you want to record. I'm gonna walk my dogs with you're walking both the dogs and talk to my sister and tell her how uncomfortable i feel right now she's going to go to bed it's well past her bedtime and i hope she picks up. how are you gonna like this i cannot i cannot i've, I've you've known me for 11 years i would never put my hands on you i don't believe you what that's mine those are mine those aren't yours now suddenly she is trying to play the victim over here trying to say that her husband of 11 years who's never touched her is about to get physical with her because she's not showing him the text messages i am super surprised on how cool he's acting i would have been flipping out so definitely good for him I'm asking just to see you're a text asking. message. Yes, I am. You're, you're, no, and you're getting not. really nervous and fidgety. I'm not getting nervous. I'm feeling very fucking uncomfortable. Why are you feeling uncomfortable? I guess if, if you asked me, I would like, yeah, you could look because no. I have nothing to hide. You're, you're you have not. some, so you have something to hide. You have not actually done that what ever are, in your past. What is it you're hiding? I'm not hiding a phone. Then just hold your phone and let me see what you wrote. I am not hiding anything. Then, then hold your I phone am. and let me see what you wrote. Okay, I'm going to go. Liam, let's go right now. I made her cry. Yeah, because you're you're cornered. I'm cornered. Yes, you because you're because you're doing something that's wrong. That's I'm why. If, if you, then that's let me wrong. see. Hold your phone and let me see if you're not doing anything wrong. Fucking thing that's wrong, and the fact that you're, I can't. Because I saw the text messages that I read that you wrote was someone that's a little bit thirsty on your end. Again. It's kind of like. Thirsty. Yeah, on your end. Well, that does it for you guys so much for watching. Peace, guys. In the next one, take care. Peace.